Shalom, 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 Israel. Call Halayim La, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Rekal Kadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders in Great Millstone, who have taught me this truth and who rule well. Love, respect, and salutations, peace, and blessings out there to you sincere and hopeful elect, scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. This is your fellow servant Malachi, coming in from the GMS Temple Bay Church. I want to get into a lesson today, a uh, short lesson, Lord willing, all right, going into, uh, uh, it's going to be ba basically uh, going into uh, 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 idolatry, all right, going into how Israel, you know, how they uh, uh, they basically chose uh, these different idols above the Most High, all right, and you see it today in the same time, all right, they decide to, to choose the things of this world over Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, so we're going to get into that just a little bit and going into uh, from idolatry and showing that it's only one God, one power. All right. And it's the true and living power. All right. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. So uh, that word uh, idolatry. All right. I looked it up in the um, uh, entomology online. All right. And it goes into the worship of idols. All right. Idolatry. All right, so everything that you see around here is uh, 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 an idol because it goes into an um, an object. All right, you have people they idolize their cars, they idolize their their homes, they idolize uh, the things, the substance that they have, their money. All right, they idolize the things of excuse me, the things of this world. All right, but the Lord is telling only Israel. All right, to not put these other gods before him, all these different idols before him. All right, but it's always a constant. All right, when it comes to Israel, all right, the nation of Israel. But when it comes to the elect, all right, they're going to get it right. All right, they're going to always get it right because they were chosen from the foundations of the earth. All right, to serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get into that. Um, this is the book of Psalms. We can start at verse. No, Psalms 96, starting at verse 4. It says, For the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols. But the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, made the heavens. All right, so the things that you see. All right, the things of the heavens, the things of the earth, the ground, the trees, the air, the plants, the animals, all these different things, all right, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right, have made, all right? He's made them, all right, by the way of his son, all right, Yahweh Shai, all right? Who was that 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 first spirit, all right, to help uh, 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 create these things, all right, along with the Akim, all right, the Alahayim, Salakim, the Alahayim. All right, those powers. All right, as you read in the book of Genesis. All right, but to go back into the idols. All right, we can get that in um, the book of Deuteronomy too as well. All right, because the Lord has only chosen the nation of Israel. As you read in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter seven, verse six. Okay, so this is the book of Deuteronomy. Let me see, chapter four. Okay, Deuteronomy chapter 4, we can start at verse 16. It says, yeah, verse 16, all right? And this is, uh, let me see. Let's see, see, this is Deuteronomy chapter 4. We can start at verse, hmm, some meat on here. I haven't read this in a little while. Deuteronomy chapter 4, we can start at verse 15, all right? It says, Take ye therefore good heed unto yourselves, for ye saw no manner of similitude on the day that the Lord spake unto you in Horeb out of the midst of the fire, all right? So this is the Lord talking to uh, 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 the nation of Israel, all right? But through Moses, all right? It says, Lest ye corrupt yourselves and make you a graven image, the similitude of any figure, the likeness of male or female, the likeness of any beast that is on the earth, the likeness of any winged fowl that flieth in the air, the likeness of anything that creepeth on the ground, the likeness any fish that is in the waters beneath the earth. All right, so this is the Lord, all right, explaining these different things not to make different idols 
all right, unto, all right, the things of the uh, of the sea, all right, of the fish, uh, the fishes of the sea. Uh, what, what else was it going into? Uh, things of the earth, the beasts of the earth, going into these different uh, animals. All right, you got so many different nations that worshiping cows and shit. All right. You have, uh, it says, make you a graven image, uh, any similitude of any figure of a, of a male or a female, all right? You still have uh, Israel doing the same thing, liking uh, uh, different things unto these men and women, all right? Idolizing these women, especially here in Babylon the Great, all right? But back to the likeness of the things, we can start at verse 19. It says, unless thou lift up thine eyes into heaven, and when thou seest the sun and the moon, and the stars, even all the hosts of heaven, should be driven to worship them and serve them, which the Lord thy God has divided unto all nations under the whole heavens. All right, so this is Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai having all these different things that are out here, all right, for the rest of these other nations to go ahead and to worship. Okay, the Lord has likened all these different things the sun, the moon. Are all these things that other nations they they worship? All right, because the Lord don't want them to work. The Lord, so like it, the Lord didn't want them to worship uh, Him. He wanted the nation of Israel to. All right, because the law, statutes, and commandments were given unto them. Deut uh, Deuteronomy four and twenty it says, "But all right, it says, but the Lord Yahweh have taken you." All right, as I stated earlier, Deuteronomy seven and six. The Lord have chosen you over all uh, over all the uh, different nations of the earth. All right, you're above all people. All right, verse twenty. It says, "But the Lord have taken you and brought you forth out of the iron furnace, even out of Egypt, to be unto Him a people of inheritance, as ye are this day." All right, so you, uh, uh, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native American, Indians, you are. Uh, 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 you have the inheritance, all right, of uh, uh, of uh, Yahweh, all right. He wants you to be unto uh, to be uh, unto Him, join unto Him, all right. But as you know, you go through the scriptures, you go through the different captivities. Israel always went off idolizing, all right, idolizing something, some other type of god, all right, just going off, all right, constantly, all right. Um, let's go back to that. Um, but uh, that's just enough with the idolatry because that's what you see these uh, people that's out here. They, they're, they're stuck uh, on, on, on idolatry, the things of the world, all right? This is why you can't uh, uh, have your life in this truth and in the world as well. You got to pick one, all right? I believe it's in Matthew 6, goes into uh, you can't serve uh, two masters. Let me see if I can get that right quick. May have to just make another lesson on that other one, but we could probably just go into that, just make it quicker. Uh, this is the book of, um, yeah, Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve the most high and mammon. All right, so Israel, all right, they gonna. They just, they, they, they hate one thing, all right, but they love the other, as the scripture says, all right? Israel, they hate, basically, they hate the Most High. Let's just say that. They hate the Most High because they choose none of his ways. They choose the, uh, the ways of the world, all right? You see them, they want to flash their money, all right? They want to commit adultery, all right? They, they, they want to be so uh, uh, entangled into this world. The, uh, the Lord, he hates this world. All right, this is why the Lord is getting ready. The Lord is getting ready to destroy this place. All right, because these people idolize this place so much more and exalt this place so much more than Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, but the Lord is getting ready to make it known and make it real uh, plain and clear. All right, that all that uh, being uh, idolizing certain things, the Lord is getting ready to uh, get get away. All right, with that, He's about to just hey, about to burn it up with these missiles. All right, so jump into the book of Isaiah. Um, we can start at hmm, a couple of scriptures I got in here. I can start over here. All right, it's the book of uh, Isaiah 46, verse 9. It says, Remember the former things of old, for I am the Most High, and there is none else. I am the Most High, and there is none like me. 
All right. So all these different idols, these other different gods, these people worship, there is nothing like All right. Unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. This is a power that you cannot even uh, uh, grasp to understand. All right. The scripture goes, I believe it's, I think it's Isaiah 45. Um. Oh, Salakia. Yeah. Mm, let me see. Let me see. I could be wrong. Mm. Everlasting shall not be ashamed. Well, without end. Well, it goes into a sense your ways are not my ways. All right. I believe it's in Isaiah. 45, but I, I can't see where it's at, but um, I believe it's in Isaiah 45, but um, going back, all right, to Isaiah 46 and verse 10, it says, declaring the end from the beginning and from the ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure, all right, so the Lord will do according to his will, all right? This is what separates him away from all these other different uh, gods that are out here. So like you, all right, he declares the end from the beginning. All right, by the way of what? When you look at the prophecies, okay? Let's get, uh, you know, Habakkuk 2 and 2, all right? These things are a point for a time, all right? They, uh, though that they tarry, they will come, all right? Because it is written, all right? The Lord, uh, he, he, he puts things and metaphors and allegories and, and, and uh, similitudes and uh, uh, dark sayings and 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 just that you can't comprehend the the power that uh, uh the power of Israel. All right, Yahweh, you can't. All right, is he's different from any other nation. This is what lets you know that the Most High is real, but he's only shown unto his servants. All right, the prophets, as you read in Amos three and seven. All right, he's uh, uh he 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 shows himself. All right, because. At, and when you look at it, he, he hideth himself, as the scripture says, but he also shows himself, all right, but by the way through his son. You see the son, you have seen the father also, okay? Um, Isaiah 48, and we can start at verse, Isaiah 48, verse 3. It says, I have declared the former things from the beginning, and they went forth out of my mouth. And I showed them, I did them suddenly, and they came to pass, all right? And that goes into what? The prophets, all right? The Lord, all right, by uh, uh, by, uh, by the spirit of his mouth, all right? Uh, you read in uh, Proverbs 1, I believe it's 1 and 20. Let me get that right quick. Proverbs 1 and 20. All right, he says pour, he pours out his spirit unto you, all right? This is the book of Proverbs 1. Uh, verse 20, verse 23, it says, turn you at my reproof. All right. So when you go into that word reproof, all right, it goes into a correction. All right. It says, turn you at my reproof, the correction. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. All right. So that's the Lord making his words known unto you by the way of the prophets. As we were just reading right here in Isaiah 48. Uh, we're going to, and back in uh, verse three, all right. It says, I have declared the former things from the beginning and they went forth out of my mouth and I showed them, I did them suddenly and they came to pass. All right. And that's the prophets. All right. Giving the word out, giving the word out to you. So-called blacks, Latinos, native American Indians, giving it out there to the elect, letting them know at the times that we're in. All right. And these things are coming to pass as we're speaking right now. All right, the valley of the dry bones. All right, you got Matthew 24. All right, all these different things. Second Ezra 15. All right, we getting ready to come into Second Ezra 16. All right, certain things is getting ready to, hey, popping off at any moment. All right, at moments notice, but he said, and they came to pass, meaning the Lord is, is, is bound by his word. These things are going to happen. This lets you know that it is a true and living power. All right, but only the elect is going to see it. Verse four, it says, because I knew that thou art, uh, Salah, that's probably going to something else. Well, yeah, we can keep going down. It says, because I knew that thou art obstinate and thy neck is an iron sinew and thy brow uh, brass. All right, and that's going into what? The two thirds of Israel. 
all right? They're being hard-headed. They don't want to look. They don't want to listen, all right? But this is why the Lord has to uh, destroy them. Verse 5, it says, I have even from the beginning declared it to thee, all right? The sayings of the scriptures, all right? So when all these things start to happen, the prophecies even kick off on, the, on, 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 on overdrive. This is when the people are going to know that it was, all right, and it is, all right, a true and living power, which is Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, it says, I have even from the beginning declared it to thee. Before it came to pass, I showed it thee, lest thou shouldest say, mine idol, all right, going back into the idol, uh, uh, idolatry, all right, it says, I showed it to thee, lest thou shouldest say, my idol have done them, and my graven image, and my molten image have commanded them, all right? And that's the Lord basically, you know, being, showing, you know, the drama into it, showing you that, no, all right? I'm the one that's been doing this. I said these things were going to happen from the beginning, all right? I said no man should be able to boast, no graven image should be able to boast. All right, I'm going to be the only one exalted in that day, right, especially when you read Isaiah chapter 2. All right, he tells you that. I believe it's uh, verse 11 and 12. All right, going into the, the proud and the lofty, because these people are proud and they're lofty off the different things that they have that they idolize, but the Lord's getting ready to just, hey, burn them up. All right, 2 Peter 3 and 10. All right, going into uh, all the elements shall uh, melt with fervent heat. This is when the people are going to know it's. It was a true God, all right? It says, verse 6, Thou hast heard, see all this, and will not ye declare it? So you see all these different things, all right? But you still want to go and choose after these other different things in the earth, all right? Your cars, uh, these damn raggedy-ass holes, <laughs> all right? Your your your, uh, your house, um, shit. I mean, any it could be anything that's here on this, on this earth. These people idolize it. But the Lord is getting ready to just, hey, burn everything up. And we're going to see who you're going to uh, serve in that day. All right? It ain't going to be your uh, your money, uh, your silver. All right? Because the Lord said your, 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 basically your money is not going to deliver you in the days of trouble. All right? It says, um, lest thou shouldest say mine idol and my molten image have commanded them. Thou hast heard, see all this, and will not ye declare it? I have showed thee new things from this time, even hidden things, and thou didst not know them? Woo! It says, they are created now and not from the beginning, even before the day when thou heardest them not, lest thou shouldest say, behold, I knew them. This is how you know it is a true power, true living power. All right? Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh He makes new things come up. All right, but you got to be in a spirit to discern it. The Lord is going to direct you and show you these things. This is why the people are so lost out here. Okay, uh, what's that? Second Corinthians 4 and 4. The God of this world have blinded them, He's blinded them by the way of uh, His philosophies, His pseudoscience, His technology. All right, all these different things that are out here uh, the financial system, the uh, education system, the um, um, uh, medical system. All right, all these different things are all systems built into one system. All right, but the Lord is getting ready to destroy this whole system. All right, anything that's connected to it, anything connected to Esau, Edom is all going to be cut off. Okay, this world all right, and everything that's in it is going to pass, as the scripture says. All right, it says, verse 7, uh, it says, um, yeah, it says, they are created now and not from the beginning. Even before the day when thou heardest them not. All right? Because at one time, you know, all uh, Israel, me included, all right, we were out here in the world and we didn't know none of the things that were in the scriptures. All right? But the Lord has revealed them, all right, through his son. All right? Yahweh Shai. All right? And Yahweh Shai sucks with us, all right, to give us the true understanding of what uh, uh, the uh, the perfect will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is. All right? It says, I have showed. So like it. it says, even before the day when thou hast heardest them not, lest thou shouldest say, behold, I knew them. All right. This is why the Lord said no man should be able to boast. All right. Only the secrets. Uh, so like it. only the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the secrets were given unto the prophets. All right. And the prophets make it uh, have been uh, made it known. 
all right? But the Lord goes around these different people, all right, and, uh, and unlocks their spirits in order for them to hear these things. But the rest of the majority of, of Israel, the two-thirds of Israel, they got to get cut off on this side. As you read in Zechariah uh, 13 and 8 and 9. All right, I got one more scripture. I don't want to make it go too long. But it's the book of Isaiah 41. Mm. 41. Salakis, Salakis is one of the meeting. All right, I'm going to start at verse 18. It says, Isaiah 41, verse 18. I will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land <clears throat> and the dry land springs of water. I will plant in the wilderness the cedar and the shita tree and the myrtle and the oil tree. All right, so this is the Lord comparing all these different things of great substance. All right, but he's getting ready to bring that into what? Into the land of Israel, to Jerusalem. He's getting ready to make these things brand new. All right, of, 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 of renowned things. All right, the cedar trees of Lebanon. All right, the, the, the myrtle tree, the oil tree, all these different things. All right, since I will plant in the wilderness, the cedar. All right, letting you know the Lord's getting ready to make the uh, 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 Israel great, all right? But by the way, he's going to make it great by putting us through all these different uh, afflictions and tribulations, all right? In the time when we get ready to come with uh, Revelations 12 and 12, um, uh, Esau, Edom, all right? Coming in like a flood, all right? The Lord's getting ready to show his work to show everyone that he is real and he's always been here, all right? He never will leave, all right? It says... Um, verse 19, uh, and the pie and the box tree together, verse 20, that they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, have done this and the Holy One of Israel hath created it. All right, we can close out on that scripture. We can read that one more time. Isaiah 41, verse 20. That they may see it, going into everyone, every eye shall see. All right, it says, and know and consider and understand together. Everyone's going to know in that day, all right, when we see them clouds break open and we see Yahweh, Atzalaki, Yahweh Shai, all right, coming with his angels. All right, it's, it's written that it's coming. All right, has the, the world called, uh, they call it UFOs. All right, but in the scriptures, we see it's the chairs of the Most High. All right, those, it, that is the salvation, all right, for the elect. All right, the rest of the, uh, the, the rest of the people on this earth, that's going to be the curse unto them. All right, it says, and understand together because everyone's going to understand in that day. All right, everything that they knew, everything that they thought, everything that they worshiped, any of the, uh, uh, um, anything that they uh, idolized. All right, the Lord said, I'm going to show everyone, all right, that it was all a big lie. All right, it reads on, it says that the hand of the Lord has done this. All right, and who's the right hand of the Lord? Yahweh Shai. Psalms 40 and 7, for lo, I come in the volume of the book. All right, it says uh, that the hand of the Lord has done this and the Holy One of Israel have created it. All right, and this is the Lord's creation. All right, this is his movie. All right, don't matter if you want to idolize these different things out here. All right, it's the Lord giving you over to that uh, that reprobate spirit. All right, letting you, because uh, the scripture goes into the deceive and the deceiver are his. All right, so if you're out there and you deceived into thinking that this world is going to keep going on. All right, you trying to spend all your money on Bitcoins. All right, trying to invest because you see that this is the... the uh, uh, the new currency, you're trying to be ahead, all right, you're still out here trying to uh, make it in this world, get a, a big house, all right, you're trying to get the hose, cars, clothes, the whole nine yards, all right, if you out here wearing masks, all right, while you walking, all right, if you, you, if you, if you scare you six feet away, that's the Lord that has given you over to that, the scripture says, I've given them unto, I will give them unto their own delusions, all right, roughly paraphrasing, all right, second Thessalonians 2, uh, going into uh, that they may believe a lie, all right? And this is the Lord creating all this, 
all right, while uh, 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 while the uh, the table's being made, all right, for us in front of our enemies, all right? This is what's happening right now, and everyone's getting ready to see it, all right? And everyone's getting ready to see it real soon. Everyone is about to see the true name, all right? Everyone's going to understand it, all right? Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, because this lesson was really going into idolatry, and then it, it kind of switched into uh, uh, that the Lord has always been here, but the Lord is always real. All right, the Lord has always been real, and He is the true and living power. All right, of Israel. All right, and of the whole universe, the whole world. All right, and He also has His Son as well, which Lord willing, all right, I am. All right, and the brothers, the Akim. All right, the ones who's really in sincerity and truth. All right, we are of that number. All right, to be joint hairs with Yahweh Shai. All right, so hey, the lesson was uh, edifying to you, Akim. Hey, the water, the water, call Halalim La, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakadash. I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders in Great Millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. Enough respect and salutations. Peace and blessings to you sincere and hopefully elect. And always remember that the Lord is always on your side, that he's always been here, all right, from the beginning and the end, all right? Everything in these scriptures, the Lord is about to make happen real soon. All these things are about to be fulfilled, all right? So, hey, this is the brother Malachi. Shalom.